Sure you wanna do this? I think so. I'm about to be bitten by an assassin bug. You might be wondering, why would I do something as crazy as that? Here's the thing, if you're like me and you're out mucking around in the woods for insects and spiders in your free time, you've probably come across an assassin bug, and anyone who's seen those sharp beak-like mouth parts can probably guess that they've got a nasty bite. But, just like in your favorite video games, sometimes getting to really cool hidden items or secret levels takes risking a little bit of damage. And trust me when I say the natural world all around us is chock full of little secret areas and hidden items that can be lurking just past some really scary obstacles. Since my channel is all about discovering the secrets of the natural world, this bee assassin is going to be a really important trial to help me get better at braving pain and obstacles in the field. So yes, today, I'll be bitten by the bee assassin. I have not seen this species before, but I can go ahead and tell you that it's advertising that it has a painful bite. That dark black shell with those bright orange borders is from a warning coloration. Out here in the prairie, that is not gonna give him any camouflage, so he's gonna stick right out, which means he better have some really serious punch to back up that coloration, or predators aren't gonna respond to it. So, I'm gonna go ahead and, ooh, look at that, he's flaring his rostrum. I don't see any venom on it. Sometimes they will have venom dripping out already, but that rostrum right there is what he uses to bite insects and defend himself out here in this environment. And we're gonna see just how bad that bite is. All right, moment of truth. Let's see how bad this is. Oh, yeah, there it is. It's, ah, oh, you saw that? Yep, already red. I could see, I could see like, there's a piece inside his rostrum that extended out and I could see it go back in. It felt, oh yeah. The, the bee assassin has a sting just like a bee. It was, sharp, hot, very, very short though. And almost felt like a little bit of a, almost felt like a needle, almost like a, like, a, like an actual shot. And I can feel it's starting to itch. And what that probably is, assassin bugs have a cytotoxic venom. And the reason I know this is the way they actually consume their prey out here is they'll inject their prey with that same exact needle-like mouth part. They inject their saliva, a venom of sorts, into their prey, which actually liquefies an insect's insides. Wow, it's really starting to itch. You can even see right there, it's starting to get red right at the site of entry, really red. What's happening right here is my body is reacting to the venom. That raised up bump is inflammation. My immune system fighting off the toxins that have entered into my system when the assassin bug bit me. But here's the thing, this venom is entirely designed for invertebrates. In fact, if you look at a microscopic view of what's going on inside my body right now, there's a very, very mild hemotoxic effect. You can barely see it, but a few of the blood cells are actually being destroyed by this venom, but it's mostly just irritation. This defensive bite is entirely just to inflict enough pain to make a predator release the insect, not to kill, not to injure. This insect doesn't eat solid food. It eats liquids. It, there's a sharp, sharp sting right there. Ooh, that's interesting. It's not bad, but that's different. It's like a, like a second wave, an aftershock of the bite. What he does is he will dissolve the insides of his prey and then slurp them up like a milkshake. What's happening in my arm right now at this bite site is the skin cells, the blood cells, any cells that are in contact with the venom from this animal are being popped. And that's what's causing the pain and the localized swelling. You can see right there, it's actually there's actually a ridge right around the bite, almost like a little, little target. And I can see that there's starting to be a little bit of blotching all around the bite site. Really isn't that bad though. All in all, the assassin bug bite was really not that bad. These insects really aren't out to get you and honestly aren't something worth being afraid of. It's kind of crazy. It's been only 10 minutes from the bite. There's a huge welt on my arm, but it is not feeling like anything at all anymore. Completely painless, completely fine. You know, bee assassins, most assassin bugs, their venom isn't meant for people. They're meant for insects and other little invertebrates and they're completely harmless, painful if they do bite you. But even this incident, I had to pin the assassin bug 
to my arm to get him to bite. These are not animals that are out to get you. And look at how slow they move in the wild. They're, they're not something that's gonna easily, you know, get to jump on you and come after you. These are creatures that wanna be left alone out in nature. And this particular species is just another part of the incredible secret world all around us. Well, thanks Harrison for helping me uh, no problem. with this little bite test, as stupid as it was. <laughs> um, Believe it or not, this is not my first time venturing into the world of insect and spider venom. My first time actually exploring these incredible chemical secrets that could be lurking right in our backyard was right here where I tested to see what wolf spider venom will do to you. I think you'll really enjoy that video. But until next time, don't forget to get outside and find your own adventure.